open country and we can see for miles. We haven't seen a single elk. And you would expect to at least see an elk in this type of country that's so open with no moon. Starting to second guess if we made the right call. I don't know. But we stop in a good glassing spot to have breakfast. And we're maybe halfway through breakfast and we hear a bull chuckle down here. Maybe 300 yards. We followed that up with a soft bugle a few minutes ago, so the wind isn't great right now. It's about 9 o'clock. Starting to shift and swirl. So as soon as we feel like it's pretty good, we're going to go make a play on it. Sounded like he was working up this little draw here. And it's been 30, 45 minutes since we last heard him, so we got in here, we're quiet for a while, hoping he would give himself up. And he didn't, so we called a few times and he's not responding, so we're not entirely sure where he's at. So I think. We're just gonna move on, go find something we can pinpoint. It seems like they just flew over this area and dumped a bunch of arsenic, and just killed everything. Not an elk, not a deer, not a bear, not even wolves. It's weird. Full moon. They should be out. A full moon. No moon. No moon. There's no moon. No moon. They should have been out for a couple hours this morning. I don't know. from the trailhead. <laughs> um, we've been trying to find elk all along the way. Glassing, calling, had that lone mystery bugle we could never really pinpoint. Um, at this point, I'm doubtful it was an elk. It probably was, but I'm thinking, I don't know, there aren't any elk here. Anyways, we've been beating feet. We have camp on our backs and you know, we keep hopping over the next ridge thinking it's going to be the golden ticket and it hasn't been. We haven't seen an elk yet. It's three o'clock. We can see forever. Um, we've been watching elk the last few days and they've been moving around here and there throughout the day. So we expected to catch some movement, but there's nothing. So <laughs> we don't really know what to do. We're pretty bummed. Um, 
We're gonna go back this main trail and take one of the forks off of it. Uh, we know where there's water back there too and we need water. So we're gonna go get water, take one of these forks off the main trail and hope we can get into them. Um, we're working hard. Yeah, we had some great opportunities early on in the week, but things went wrong in all of them that weren't any fault of our own. And so it's that point of the, the week, the hunt, the season, where you start to question if it's gonna happen. Um, nobody in our crew, Isaac, Alicia, me, has gotten a shot. Um, I was the only one even remotely close to a shot opportunity. Um, nobody's gotten a shot. It's been six years since we've had a season like that, so. Um, got a day and a half, and we're gonna try and make it happen. Uh, hopefully it does. Zilch, nada, nunzo, they're dead, they're all dead. We've been all the way out, pretty much the end of the trail, almost, now yeah, we're halfway back. We haven't seen a single elk. We heard a phantom bugle over here. Meanwhile, there's elk rutting at our spot. We better find an elk tonight or I'm going to second guess all of our decisions for the entire past year. Alicia to record. She knows it's going to be a good one. You know what happens on the last day when we found elk and then we left elk to go find different elk is we go back to the elk we found before and we four wheel the truck in places no truck should go and we regret it later except for the fact we have a truck bed full of elk meat. And I should talk quieter in case there are elk around. There aren't any elk. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna go get water. 